So let, let me hit on the Bills. Because, you know, the Bills are a highly likable bunch. Same with Bills Mafia. Highly likable. Love Josh Allen. Root for Josh Allen. I thought the Bills were going to win the Super Bowl. As you know, so did the rest of everybody on NFL Game Day morning. We went on the air on our season kickoff show, and all of us chose the Bills. All of us. We got a lot of crap for it. Now we're getting the, a whole bunch of, I'm seeing it posted on my Twitter timeline. You were so full of it. Kurt, God bless him, goes back at these people. There wasn't even a game played yet. You're acting like we're idiots. <laughs> I mean, Kurt, you're in the Hall of Fame. We're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right. You're good. But, um, yeah, I, I thought they were going to win it all. And then I got off of them when I had a shot to get off of them around Thanksgiving. I hopped on the Chiefs. And part of the reason why I did that is I thought there was a gear missing. We saw that gear kick into high gear for the first third of the season. We saw it right here in Los Angeles when they ruined the Rams banner raising. We saw it when they beat the Chiefs. We saw it. They didn't have a gear. They, they lost a gear in Von Miller. But when the push does come to shove and everything gets colder and the weather gets colder, I, I feel that their running game is a major glaring problem. Again, I know the pushback can be, well, uh, running game wasn't a problem when Gabe Davis was catching four touchdown passes in the divisional round last year. They just wound up 13 seconds shy of a stop. Got it. But what happens when Gabe Davis isn't the number two turning into the number one? We saw that yesterday. It's certainly since number one, him turned back into Stefan. And it's been a frustrating month. That's what they did. Diggs kind of didn't have his game. He didn't have his monster games. And you saw the frustration on the sideline with the, with the snow coming down. I'm just wondering, you know, in the same way the Niners have moved on to the NFC Championship game, would they have moved on? Would they have gotten into the two seed, similar to what Buffalo had? Would they have gotten this far? Would they have gotten past Dallas if McCaffrey wasn't on this team? If Elijah Mitchell was option one, if they'd held on to Jeff Wilson, would they even have gotten into the two-seed position? Would Purdy be as viable a guy? I know McCaffrey. McCaffrey did score the touchdown, but he didn't have a big game against Dallas, and we'll see what happens against Philadelphia. I'm just pointing out the Niners looked around and said, we have got our team. And don't forget, they made this deal when Garoppolo was still the quarterback there. And interestingly enough, McCaffrey's first game was against the Chiefs the last time the Niners lost a game. Um, that, don't forget, the Niners looked around and said, we're going to go for it. We're going to just take it, what we've got, and just raise the stakes. Maybe the Bills do that. Do they do that with Saquon? That's a fascinating idea. Now, you'd have to spend. You'd have to spend a lot, but I think you... You just take the moment and raise the stakes. Go for it. I mean, the Rams did it with, with Odell. The Niners did it with McCaffrey. Maybe the Bills do that and get the run game going so Allen doesn't feel like it's all on his shoulders. And I think that that all weighs on him enough in a game that that might be the way that it's you could switch it on. It's definitely not in my mind the coach. I thought John McDermott had coach of the year written all over him you know i think i think the bills dealt with a lot this year yeah. to say the least can james cook be that guy next year it's a good they, question I, I, don't, I don't know does he have that run between the tackles mentality that he can do like his brother can i don't i'll turn to your georgia bulldog was that his that, i don't think that was his forte right he more was catching it out of the backfield. Good third down, good good change of pace. Or he could just turn into that guy. Maybe. I'm sure if you asked him, he'd say, put the bell cow on me. I could be that guy for you. But are you going to give Saquon the four-year $65 million? 
You're going to make him the highest paid per year running back? Maybe he wouldn't do that. Maybe he'll just go to Western New York for give them a hometown discount. He wants to win a championship and go yeah. be teammates in a, in a spot where everyone loves each other. By the way, I'm not, I'm not saying that Diggs and Allen are angry. He's angry with Allen. That can't be put back together. I mean, I think that was just you know, heat of moment yeah. type stuff. Single I will game, chalk it up day. to that. Yeah, you get mad at Del Tufo sometimes. It's still all love, though. I would get basically enough help on the defensive side of the ball, rushing the passer. Yeah, too many and, injuries in the secondary. Give me a running game and go to battle because right now Joe Burrow has taken this whole Mahomes-Allen thing and broken it into pieces. Yeah. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.